The country's oldest rugby club has been rocked by an alleged fraud scandal, but the woman behind it has now left the country. Christchurch Football Club has laid a complaint with police alleging the former staff members stole more than $100,000. News Hub has discovered she has also faked letters from a respected Christchurch surgeon that said she was dying of cancer. Juliet Speedy has this exclusive report. The biggest junior rugby club in New Zealand and one of the world's oldest, now the victim of a six-figure fraud. I can honestly say it. It has broken the club in a lot of areas, particularly in the junior section. At the centre of the allegations is Nicola Flint, a former administrator no! whose own children played there. We were having trouble paying our accounts and after an audit we found that there was some discrepancies, just over 100,000. Allegedly stolen by Flint, who worked as business development manager. And that person was a very entrusted employee of our club and well liked in all sections of the club. And it was falsifying invoices and then having that money paid into a personal account. And that money's gone, never to be seen again. The community not only trusted her, it revered her. This post from the club's Facebook page. This lady goes above and beyond every day to ensure our children have an amazing time while at our club. She is a true legend of CFC. News Hub has spoken to the forensic accountant who did the audit and we have seen the invoices. Some are for substantial amounts. Nicola Flint would allegedly invoice clubs and schools that had visited here and she'd put a bank account on those invoices that she had set up. Over time, that totaled around $100,000. She also allegedly stole from a fundraiser held for the club. In one incident, and we, again, it's alleged, um, there was a chocolate fundraiser. Some of that money that was raised never went into a bank account. So, you know, that is actually robbing the kids that play this wonderful game of ours and our club. That's why it hurts so much. Flint told her previous employers she was hurting too, living with stage four terminal cancer. News Hub discovered she medically retired from a job at ANZ in 2018 because she claimed she was dying. But our investigations revealed that Flint faked letters, claiming they were from respected Christchurch surgeon Philippa Sturgeon at breast care. The letter obtained by News Hub said she had moved on to secondary medical options as part of a palliative care program additional tumours seen in the lungs and bladder areas, and that prognosis would indicate less than a 24-month time frame. Breast Care has confirmed to News Hub the letter is fraudulent. ANZ confirmed Flint was employed there and left in 2018. This is the first we have heard about the allegations regarding her medical documentation. We're happy to cooperate with police on this matter should they require further information. Years after Flint's original letter to ANZ, she told the rugby club's board the same story of terminal cancer. Often couldn't make meetings and couldn't meet was because of illness. And are you questioning that now too? Just one, add, add, add the two together. We didn't see any deterioration in health. Flint resigned from the club in October last year and took up a business development job at prestigious Christchurch school Rangiruru. The school has confirmed she was hired, with all the right reference checks and police vetting done before she started, but that she resigned two weeks after she got the job. News Hub understands the school was made aware of several allegations surfacing. Flint has recently left the country with her husband and children and moved back to the UK, where she is originally from. She's believed to have flown business class. If you could have a message to that person, what would it be? How could you do it? How could you actually stand in front of other people, uh, tell us that you had stage four cancer, tell us that you were doing a great job and all the time you were taking money off players, people and volunteers of our beautiful club. A club that's been dragged through the mud. Juliet joins us now. Juliet, what is the alleged fraudster at the centre of all this saying? 
Well, the answer to that, Sam, is not much. I've reached out several times to Nicola Flint, who, as you've just heard, is now living in the UK with questions around this and for her side of the story, but she hasn't responded to any of those queries. I've also spoken to the police, who have confirmed that they are investigating, but they won't confirm what the club has told me and that they are close to issuing a warrant for her arrest. But it's important to note that I went to the police before uncovering those fraudulent medical documents claiming that Flint has terminal cancer and so no doubt breast care, the surgeon and ANZ have questions and concerns around that. So this story certainly is far from over yet. Okay, Juliet Namahi, thanks so much.